Pinangunahan ni First Lady Liza Araneta Marcos ang pagbubukas ng International Conference on Women, Peace and Security na nagaganap sa Pasay City. Kinangulat ni Vel Custodio live, Vel. Dayan ngayon ang unang araw ng International Conference on Women, Peace and Security kung saan nakilahok ang halos 700 delegates sa binubuo ng mga foreign ministers at saka ng mga kasapi ng peacemaking organizations dito sa Philippine International Convention Center sa Pasay City. Forging collaboration and convergence for advancing women, peace and security ang tema ng okasyon. Pinangunahan ni First Lady Liza Araneta Marcos ang pagbubukas ng International Conference on Women, Peace and Security o ICWPS. I'm delighted to join our government officials in welcoming the delegates of the International Conference of Women, Peace and Security to the Philippines. Since this summit is about women, My husband, Ferdinand Marcos, asked me to personally convey our welcome and to let you know that the Philippines is honored to host a conference of this significance and stature. Let's give a big round of applause to all the women, to welcome our women and also our men to our beautiful country. Once again, welcome to the Philippines. Nandoon din si United Nations Secretary General Amina Mohamed sa kumperensya. The world is facing unprecedented challenges, and though we may not know how to tackle them all, there is one thing we know for certain. It is imperative that women are at the core of our solutions. The Philippines appointment of the world's first woman chief negotiator for a major peace agreement setting an example by ensuring that one third of the people at the peace table were women, which is the minimum target that we have set ourselves in the United Nations. Nagsalita rin ang ilang opisyal ng pamahalaan, kabilang sina Department of Budget Management Secretary Amena Pangandaman, Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process Carlito Galvez Jr., at Department of Foreign Affairs sa eksklusibong panayam ng PTV, ibinahagi ng ilang mga international delegates ang kanilang mga advokasiya na nais silang ibahagi sa tatlong araw na koperensiya. In Bulgaria, we established the Bulgarian Armed Forces Women Association that could support the victims of every type of violence that they could face. So this is very important. At the same time, because they, their voices could be heard, at the same time, cooperation is very important. So the conference here is such a great example. Cooperation and collaboration. Nagsasagawa ng ministral o high-level segments ang mga kalahok na nagsisilbing plataporma para sa government stakeholders para pag-aralan at suriin ang implementasyon ng Women, Peace and Security Agenda ng United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325. Tinalakay dito ang ilang mga global issues, kagaya ng tungkulin ng kababaihan sa peace negotiations, women's rights and family welfare, at pagpapatubad ng mga pulisiya para pigilan ng sexual violence. Gayun din ang action plans at iba pang mga estratehiya para sa women safety and security. Dayan pagkatapos sa mga sesyon, magkakaroon ng Pasay Declaration. Ito ang collective effort sa mga bansa sa pagpapalakas ng pagsusulong sa women's rights at uh, gender equality worldwide at pakikiisa ng mga kababaihan sa conflict resolution at sa o sa peace building process. Magpapatuloy ang koperensiya hanggang sa Merkules. Balik sa iyo Dayan. Maraming salamat Bel Custodio.